The government will launch an ambitious experiment this Sunday to improve the health of all Americans. The National Institutes of Health wants one million Americans to donate DNA and share their health habits in the name of science. Participants in the All of Us study will give blood and urine samples and describe lifestyle habits. The database will be part of a $1.4 billion precision medicine initiative. Its goal is to discover new ways to prevent and treat several diseases. But the effort's raising concerns about patient privacy and the risk hackers could breach such a large database. NIH Director Dr. Francis Collins joins us from its headquarters in Bethesda, Maryland. Dr. Collins, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Gail Anthony Biana. It's nice to be with you this morning <laughs> to talk about this exciting project. It's, it's great to have you. you call this study a national adventure that's going to transform medical care. What exactly do you hope to accomplish? Well, do you ever feel when somebody's making recommendations to you about how to stay healthy or when you need a prescription and you're wondering, is this the right drug for me at the right dose? A lot of what we do in medicine is one size fits all. Precision medicine is this opportunity to make things much more individualized and therefore more precise and more likely to result in a good outcome. But to get to that point, we need to collect a lot of data on a lot of people who are willing to partner with us in this remarkable adventure uh, called All of Us. We named it that for good reason. It is about all of us and it's going to give us the information we currently lack. How do people sign up for this program? So it, the big launch is this coming Sunday, May the 6th. And at that point, if you go to the internet site, joinallofus.org, join all of us, just one word, no spaces, you can find out what it takes to sign up. There'll be a number of educational steps there you'll need to go through. And then you'll have to decide whether you want to consent to take part in this. People who sign up will then be uh, given a chance to give blood samples and urine samples and answer other questionnaires and make their electronic health records available in a very secure database that will allow researchers to begin to understand all of those things we don't know that will lead to better health care. Dr. Francis Collins, I love your enthusiasm about the project. I am curious, though, about the <laughs> privacy concerns that people have. You know, we have a sure. story in the news where a serial killer was just caught recently with the DNA from a, a relative. So how do you assure people that the information they're giving will be kept private? So all of their information will be stripped of personal identifiers. There'll be no names or social security numbers or addresses or dates of birth. Uh, the information that researchers will want to look at will be anonymized. And researchers will be required to pledge that they will not seek to identify who these individuals are. And furthermore, based on some new legislation passed a little more than a year ago, this database will be protected from any kind of use by law enforcement who are browsing around trying to find potential criminals, as was the case with the Golden State Killer. So this is very well protected. The database is encrypted. Of course, we all worry about hackers and, and ways in which these kinds of databases may be attractive targets, and we've gone through hackathons. By the way, we've already enrolled as a beta test, sort of a trial of this, uh, more than 26,000 people. They've gone through this process. They've agreed that it's worth it to sign up because they're going to find out a lot about themselves. And so far, the security of the system seems to be absolutely the best that can be obtained at the present time. Ultimately, what health problems is, 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 gonna, is this information going to target? Pretty much anything that is common enough to have a bunch of individuals affected by that condition. When you have a million people, that's going to mean a lot of things. So let me just give you an example. Diabetes. Probably with a million people signing up, there will be 80 or 90,000 of those folks who have diabetes. We'll be able to figure out what's the right intervention for each of those, as opposed to the way we currently manage the disease, which is one size fits all. Oh, and certainly all right, this idea of being able to get... All right, Dr. I'm so we love your enthusiasm. Sorry. I'm so sorry, but we, we have to move on <laughs> in the show. But thank you, and thank you so much for telling us about this program. We appreciate you joining us. Sure.